It's Greggy Soriano, and welcome to another episode of Greggy's Digest. If you're into satisfying cake decorating videos, please click on the subscribe button and ring a ding ding that little bell to get notifications every time I post a new cake video. Today, I'm going to show you a cake that is inspired by freckles. And it sounds weird, but I've just been obsessed with freckles lately. I love real freckles on somebody. Like, I think it's so beautiful when somebody has freckles on their face. And I love it when Bretman Rock and James Charles and all these beauty guru I can't even speak. All these beauty gurus put faux freckles on their face. I just think it's super cute. I personally don't think I could pull it off. I just wear a little bit of highlighter and call it a day, but I'm going to leave that to them because they look uber cute in freckles. But yeah, any hoodle. I'm just obsessed with freckles. I just think it's so pretty. So today we're going to make a cake that has some freckled florals on them and it's going to have some interesting leaves as well. I'm going to have foliage that has leaves that are kind of long, and it's going to have stripes on them in grays, and it's going to look a little bit distressed, and it's gonna look really interesting, and I want it to juxtapose with the actual specks and the spatter marks that I'm going to create on the wafer paper, and I seriously can't wait to show you guys. So without further ado, let's get to cake and... Let's start off by grabbing some wafer paper. Grab some edible paint in a pink or rosy color and grab a flat brush and paint about let's say about a quarter of a way through the wafer paper, and then use the same brush and saturate it and scoop up the paint or food coloring and spatter the heck out of the wafer paper. I'm also using vodka or you could use gin or any clear alcohol. You could also use almond extract as well to loosen up the paint. Use some asphalt gray and a sky blue gel paste, edible paint, or any food coloring, and do the same exact thing on another piece of wafer paper. With one of these nifty brushes that makes multiple lines, create all of these lines onto the other side of the wafer paper with the gray. Now that your sheets of wafer paper are dry, cut out some fringe for the pips and also a lot of petals in different sizes. For templates on this flower, you could visit greggysoriano.com and you could purchase it there. It's super duper cheap and I wanted to make it so that it's affordable for you guys and it's only like a couple bucks. So yeah, go to greggysoriano.com and download the templates. When cutting out petals, I like to roll and fold up my wafer paper, and what that does, it saves time instead of individually cutting out each petal. For all of the petals, be sure to cut out a slit right in the middle of the base of each petal because we need to cup it later on so that looks a bit more realistic. And for the leaves, we are going to use the multi-lined pattern and make really cool looking leaves. Use just a little bit of water on one side of the slit and cup it to make it look a little bit more realistic. For the stamens, I'm using sanding sugar in a pink color, and I'm just using water to attach it and dipping it into the sugar. I'm also using water to attach as my glue when I assemble the petals onto the flower. Make sure to be creative when you make these flowers as well. If you notice the center to this pip, like right underneath the stamen, there's some leafy looking shaped 
uh, petals as well so that our centers look a bit interesting on some of the flowers. Crumb coat an 8 inch round cake, 5 inches in height, and you want to create a home style pattern when you do your final coat. And you want to do that right on the top as well as the sides. When creating a home style pattern, be sure to add a generous amount of buttercream on the top. And what that does is that it creates a lip and when you spread it out, the lip goes to the outer edge. And then when you swipe the sides of the cake, it's going to push up that lip and create this fun looking textured look that I love. And then make a spiral with your mini offset spatula. All right, you guys, I'm going to shut my little bokeh and let you have your own little satisfying cake decorating moment. Enjoy! With an assortment of palette knives, create some texture and add some beautiful color to the cake with buttercream. And you want to add to the movement and make sure there's some flow and lots of different textures and little different pieces of buttercream just moving throughout the cake and around those flowers and just creating the general shape and beautiful arrangement in a C formation on top of the cake. There we have it, our freckled flowers and stripes cake. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make my freckled floral cake. Please be sure to visit greggysoriano.com and say hi to me on social media, on my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and DM me. Please be sure to comment on all of my pictures and say hi to me. I would love, love, love to see all of your pictures of you guys baking and trying to get to know you guys. I really want to know who you are behind the camera. So I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Click on my face to subscribe, click on the video to view my last episode on the right, and be sure to support this channel by visiting greggysoriano.com and say hi to me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.